Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1263. Now, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, back in Excel Magic Trick 1257, we used Power Query to create one proper data set from 10 cross tabulated tables. And the master of Power Query, Bill Sizzes at YouTube, posted this video. And here's the graphic he made. Now, the way we did it back in 1257 is perfectly all right, and sometimes it might even be preferable. We converted 10 different cross-tabulated tables to Excel tables and then merged them into one table. Now, in this video, we're going to take all 10 tables. They happen to be on one sheet and convert them to one table and then do a bunch of manipulations over in Power Query to get all the data into one table. If you want to read the steps, there they are. Now, here's our data set on one, two, six, three sheet. We have species. These are marine animals that are being tracked. And here's the date. And here are the counts. If you scroll down, there's a different, in essence, cross tabulated table for each one of the months. All right, so I'm going to somehow have to convert this entire table. So I'm going to go Control Home. And by the way, the end, the END key goes to the last cell that was used. So if I Control END, it conveniently will go to the very last column and row that is being used. So Control Home, this time, since I need to highlight everything, there's one species columns. Since these are dates and the most number of days in a month is 31, we need to go over 31 columns to the 32nd column. So no way. I'm just going to use Control Shift End to highlight everything. Now I use Control T to convert it to a table. And I do not want headers. I'm actually going to need the dates that are the column headers here to be in the first row of the table, not the column header. So I'm going to click OK. And so now we can see we have column 1 all the way to column 32. One species, 31 days max for months. Now I need to name this table, go to Design, and over here, or Alt-JTA. And I'm going to name this. I called it one table from 10 CT for cross-tabulated tables, and Enter. Now I'm using Excel 2016, so I don't have to download Power Query. If you're in Excel 2013 or 10, you have to search Google and download it. 2016, I just go to Data, Get and Transform, and there's the From Table button. If, if you're importing data from Excel into Power Query, it's got to be a table. I'm going to use the keyboard Alt A, which gives us to gets us to the data. And notice it's PT for table. So it's not a very easy keyboard to remember. Now, we're going to have to convert everything to text to get to some of our tricks that are going to be dependent on dates to work. So I want to highlight everything. I'm going to click on the first column, scroll all the way over, and hold Shift and click on the last column. And since most all of the features are going to be in the Transform, I'm going to use the data type in the Transform. There's also one over in Home. And convert it all to text. Now, here's the trick. Check this out. Notice that here is the first row of our table. And if we scroll down a little bit to the next one, oh, it's always going to contain a date. So I'm going to copy column 2. This is the column that's always going to have a date here that represents the first row in this cross-tabulated table, or in essence, a marker for us to say this is the beginning of the table in this entire column. So I'm going to copy this, right click, duplicate column. It'll throw it all the way to the end. Now, I want this to be the marker, but eventually I want every record for this first table to have that date. So with his date column selected, there's the date and type column group. We're going to select the date and parse. This will take the date out of this one. All of these will get an error. Now, we don't want errors. We really want this date all the way down. So we're going to replace that error. So we go up to Transform, Any Column. Replace Errors. 
And we're going to put a null and click OK. So now we have nulls all the way down, including the nulls. There were a couple nulls there for empty cells. But now we can use the fill down feature to fill the dates down. Same, transform any column. There's the fill and down. So now what we've done is, in essence, in this column, we have a marker. For every 1-1-2015, which is the first date in January, because there's a date in this column, we know that that record should be included. And if we scroll all the way down, we can see when it gets down to 2-2-2015, that's the next marker for the next cross-tabulated table. Now, what are we going to do? We need all those records in a table. We're going to select this column and use the Group By feature. There's the column. We're going to call this table because we're going to roll all of those records up into a single table. And here it is, operations. We're used to doing operations like sum and then coming over and selecting the column that we want to sum upon. But we want all rows. That will roll all of those records marked by the date into a single table. One way to think of group by, and I've done other videos on this, is the group by feature is like sum ifs. We're doing something to all of the dates over in that column. You can see down here 1 1 2015, and then down below it's 2 2 2015. But this is, in essence, going to group it all into a table. So I click OK. you got to be kidding me. Now here's where we're going to have to do some M code. And again, I got this straight from Bill Sizzes. This is awesome. Let's go ahead and just click on one of these tables here. And you can see we actually need to do two things. We need to promote these first row to headers. And then we need to unpivot. Now, I don't want to do that to each individual table. So we're going to go up and look at the code up here, table.group. Fill down column two, and then it says table each. Well, we can, after each, type our code. Now, we want to unpivot other columns. We want to, in essence, in this code here, select species and unpivot all the dates. In fact, why don't we go look down here? There's the species in the code. We want to select this and then unpivot all of the other ones. That will put all of the dates in a single column and all the values into a single column. So we're going to unpivot. But we're going to do it up here right after each. Table dot unpivot other columns. So there's our first function after each. We're going to open parentheses. And now there's an argument here. And we're going to say table dot promote headers. Now this table dot promote headers is actually going to sit as the first argument in table.unpivot other columns. Now I'm going to close parentheses there on promote table.promote headers, comma space. This is the second argument in table unpivot other columns. We have to say which column we want to select before unpivoting the others. In curly brackets, then double quotes its species. And double quote. Comma. Now we have to name because it's going to unpivot into date and value. So I'm going to, in double quotes, rename it date, comma, space, and then in double quotes, value. I'm going to come over here and click this so we have a little bit of room here. There's value. We still need to close parentheses. Now, if I typed anything incorrectly, which I do all the time, when I hit Enter, I will get an error. It looks like I got lucky this time. It didn't type anything incorrect. I can come down here and check that out. Notice it added a step here, but I'm just looking. There's our dates and there's our values. Now, if we scroll down, we actually want to filter out this column 33. That's the duplicate column we added to the end. Now I'm going to click this Delete button. All right, before we expand this, let's click here. We don't need this column in here. Right click, remove. Now we're going to expand this. And I want to, this comes checked. You want to uncheck. We do not want original column name as prefix. I'm going to click OK. And we're going to scroll down, and we're actually going to have that column 33. That's that last duplicate column we added. I want to filter that out. So I simply come up to Date, click on the drop down. I'm going to load more. 
scroll all the way down, and I'm going to filter out column 33. Click OK. Now, there's one other problem here. If we scroll down, and this is just a straight data entry problem. Someone added some extra spaces on 2.5. So I'm going to use the date parse feature to parse out the date from the spaces. And it will also get rid of our time there. Select date, transform, date and time column, date and parse. All right, and we need to convert this from text. Remember, we originally converted text. So the data type in the transform will be whole number. There are all of our steps. Now we can go to Home, Close, and Load To. I want to load it to a table in this workbook on a new worksheet. Click Load. And you've got to be kidding. One huge table using Power Query and typing some M code. Man, I love hanging out on our online Excel team. There's the link to the original video from Bill Sizzes. It's also in the Show More section below. All right, we'll see you next video.